high in the Caucasus Mountains, a Russian geologist called V. N. Markin has an encounter with a mysterious human-like creature. Markin writes, В пяти шагах от нашей палатки стоял коренастый человек. Я резко дернулся, чтобы разбудить Павла, но от боли в ноге застонал. When he looks again, the creature is gone. He grabs his notepad. Да, вот вот рисунок, который нам прислал Маркин. Markin saw a human form, but covered in hair and much larger than an ordinary person. Many people claim to have hard evidence of the Russian wild man, collected from every corner of the former Soviet Union. Вот этот вот след был залит мной лично на земле в Таджикистане в 1979 году. This is a handprint uh, of a wild man that uh, was detected by us in Tianshan. Это кусочек шерсти, кусочек мяса и кусочек кожи. While some wild man evidence has now been identified as coming from bears, much remains unexplained. Those that believe the wild man does exist have great faith in their evidence. According to size of uh, this footprint, uh, we detected that uh, mass uh, of uh, this object was about 200 kilograms. It was a very big animal. But could a creature this large still remain unknown to science? With all wild men's stories, they're typically related to very rugged, mountainous, forested habitats. These are areas that Homo sapiens have, for the most part, um, uh, avoided. Even if we could search the whole of the vast Russian interior, there might not be many wild men to find. As a rule of thumb, a thousand individuals has been offered as a number that uh, would serve as a viable minimum population for, for a species, for a vertebrate species. From the many eyewitness reports, it's possible there might be more than one type of wild man. We may be dealing with two separate entities. There is this body of, of evidence that suggests a much more man-like wild man, but yet with the wild characteristics of hair coverage, etc., that may be a relic Neanderthal. On the other hand, we have reports of something on a much larger scale, seven to eight and a half feet in height, leaving 16-inch footprints that has none of the accoutrements that we would associate with a, an archaic Homo sapiens, but perhaps something like a relic Gigantopithecus or Paranthropus, a much earlier offshoot from the family tree.